Hey guys, welcome back to the best CRT tutorial you'll ever see, guaranteed. So first yep. off, we're gonna start transform layer. Add yourself transform on an adjustment layer. Get you some 80 height, 80 height. Squash it down. Okay, now we're gonna add scan lines. This scan is lines. <laughs> this is the bread and butter of your CRT. <laughs> so now 150. 150 line frequency. I'm telling you, it's perfect. Now, with this line sharpness, you're going to alt click on that. Random 0.5. Now, what this will do, it'll give him some uh, some nice little flicker, you know, so it's not perfectly straight every time. Because CRTs are never perfectly straight, you know. And then you're going to add another one. 150. Then, 0.5 again, right? And then, Gonna change the angle to 90. Now look what we have here. We have a grid. We can work with that, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring out that grid, obviously, with defocus prism. Get yourself some defocus prism. Point one. At the defocus width, and you're gonna crank up the chroma distort until you get some like, just you know, RGB. Then you're going to add Wavewarp, and I'll show you what this will do. We're going to change it to Smooth Noise, and what we're trying to do here, where we don't want this too high, because if it's too high, it'll be way too extreme, but what we're going to do is create like a subtle error in the thing. As you can see, just something subtle, you know, it's all you need. And then we don't want it to move too fast either. Cause that might look stupid. Just you know, slow it down a little. You're gonna add another wave warp. This time we're gonna change it to square. Five hundred and two. Now, as we can see, it's moving from left to right. We can change that to be up and down if you want. That's personally what I do. I feel like it gives it a nice flicker, as you can see as I'm scrolling by. Subtle little. It's like almost like warpy, you know. And that uh, what we're gonna do? This is completely optional. You can add another scan lines. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna change this to 150. But what this does, if you change the angle of this to something just weird, it almost creates little hexagon-looking shapes, as you can see. And that's what we're kind of going for. Cause we don't want a perfect square, we just want something that's kinda a square. You know, and if it's too sharp, let's bring it down. And then, we're gonna add glow. Nothing fancy, just glow. And we don't want it to look bad, increase the radius a little. And then to give it some flicker, what we're gonna do Random 0.5, like we always do. Now we got a little bit of flicker with the glow. Now this is an important step. We're going to add Unsharp Mask. What this is going to do, it's kind of, you'll see, it'll just make it look just CRT-like, you know. It kind of brings out the edges of everything, makes it look kind of like filmed on like an old thing. What I like to do next is I add a uh, JPEG damage. You gotta bring down the quality a little bit because no CRT is perfect quality. I usually get like a third of quality like 0.333. And then what I like to do um, for the errors I like to add some like small little errors. I'll set this to like 0 0.01 and then you might think that's a lot so I do uh, I do actually random and 0 0.01 and then for the block density just 0 0.1 and what this will do it creates a uh, just small little blocks on the screen because I feel like an actual CRT would do that you know um curves next because you gotta bring out just that weird CRT look to it and curves is your man what I like to do I like to drag one bit down 
grab another piece and drag it up. This is completely eyeballing it. You just do whatever looks good. Because if it, it looks bad, then don't keep it, obviously. Something like that. Looks good. And then something to keep in mind. With CRT cameras, they only process red, green, blue. So bring up the reds. Bring up the blues. I mean the greens. Then the blues. Yeah, and then uh, gonna bring down everything else, and that's basically what your that's your starter pack right now. It's looking all right, right? So what we can do to enhance this? Add another adjustment layer under the main one. We're gonna add wide time. What I like to do with this is not make it perfect. We want organic. Random 100. So now it's gonna flicker between. 100 and 0% opacity and it'll just mess with the frames a little bit by adding like you know just more shit to it because that's what wide time does and then for more minute adjustments we're gonna add exposure if you need it I think in this clip it does yeah that looks, yeah, that looks good And then if you need another glow, you can add deep glow on top of it. Nothing too much though. And then actually might bring this down a little bit. And then if you need to scale it in, which we do on the sides here, like if you can see like the the chroma and what it did to it, we can just scale it up a bit more so it's not as obvious. And um, then look at what we have here. But yeah, this is mostly eyeballing. Like, nothing will look perfect first try. You just gotta play with the settings that you have. You can play with the render quality too. You can render in a certain one if you want it to be worse quality. Um, and yeah, I think that's really it.